Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Let's try to just <laughs> knock down the castle. That's so much fun. Wait, baseball. Baseball? Baseball, where have you gone? Everybody, I am Kindly Keen and welcome back to Baby Hand. So today we're back in the game and we're gonna be doing something. So a few episodes ago, we were desperately trying to figure out how to open the front door to see if there was a way to escape the house. And uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to find a proper way to open the door. But I think I have an idea that might get us outside of the house. So I'm gonna be trying this here today, but before we do that, before we try escaping the house and and seeing the outside world, who knows what's out there, uh, let's do some other stuff. Let's do some more suggestions that you guys had. So I think the first thing that we're gonna do is get access to the like grenade launcher. I don't know what it is. Uh, so we need to get all of the blocks here. So we still need the circle, the moon, the star, and the triangle. And I don't know exactly where all of them are. It's been a while since we've actually done this. There's the circle. I think maybe the star is over there? Maybe? I don't actually... Oh no, the star's over there. So we only need the triangle, which, uh... Which I don't, I don't know exactly where it is. Where's the, there's the circle. All right, there we go. Maybe it's over here. Let's, let's just check over here. Oh yeah, I see. That's the moon. All right, well, we can grab that. Uh, do you think these dominoes do anything? You think if we put these, like, if we play a proper game of dominoes, we can, like, win something? I don't know. I, do you guys know how to play dominoes? I sort of do. I don't know all the rules, but I do know that you're supposed to match the numbers up against each other like that. Don't you take turns? You just take turns like you have your dominoes and you take turns placing them. This is really awkward. I think this one, the blank one is like a free. It's a freebie. Can you do this though? Can you do like something like that? Or is that cheating? I don't know. <laughs> Again, I don't know enough about dominoes to know how to properly play it. But there, we made the number four. Yeah, look at us. Smart baby. All right, let's go put the moon in the chest over here. All right, there's the moon. There you go. All right, what's left? Uh, let's go over here, and I don't know if there is a block over here, but we're definitely going to check. Is it up there? No, it's not up there. Ah, triangle. You're over there. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's go over there. Go ahead, go up on the couch. Ugh, there we go. Ooh, the keys. We can play with those later. So let's just put those over by the door. Let's go up here. Yes, there it is, the triangle of life. All right, let's head back to our magical chest. Once again, getting a great workout today, pretending to be a baby. Who would have thought that being a baby could get you in shape so well? Not to mention, we talked about this last time, how cool you look when you're in VR and you're crawling like a baby, looks like you're trying to swim while walking around in the real world looking absolutely ridiculous. That's okay. That's fine. Did we get them all? Yeah, we did it. Whoa. Did it always do that? <laughs> I, I don't think it did. I think that the key just used to sit in the chest. Now it, it floats so majestically. The magical power of the key. Behold, the relic of the baby. It's just a green key. Let's grab it and, uh... Oh, don't we use it on a drawer next to our parents' bed? I think so. Let's head over there. There it is. I knew I'd find you. Hey, is there anything new on top of mom and dad's bed here? Uh, just the horse head. This is a reference to a movie. I won't tell you which one. You gotta figure it out for yourself. All right, let's, uh... Let's see. What, what's going on in here? Right? The catnip. That's what we're looking for. And... We wear our sunglasses inside because we're cool. I do want to get that violin or fiddle or whatever it is. People are telling me a fiddle and a violin is the same thing. It's just how you play it. So I guess a fiddle, you, you play like the strings, like you, you pick at them like a guitar. Is that right? But a violin, you play with the 
the bow, right? You, you, you do this thing. I don't know. I'm not a musician and I don't claim to be one. I'm sorry if I'm very wrong. I'm just a baby. Give me some leeway here. I'm still learning about the world around me. All right, so we're gonna give the catnip to kitty cat over here. We need to name this kitty cat. Actually, speaking of cats, do you guys see Lucy? Lucy, my cat. She's around here somewhere and she looks a lot like this guy. I found Lucy. She's behind me. She wants out. <laughs> She doesn't like it when I record videos. She wants to be in the room with me, but as soon as I start recording, I think because I'm maybe a little bit louder than I normally am, she wants to leave. She wants nothing to do with me. You guys can see her. Look, she... I think she's over there. Are you over there, Lucy? I don't know. All I see is sunglasses and catnip right now. I'm inside the body of a baby! I don't know what's going on around me, but I think she's over there. You can see her. Look. She looks kind of like this kitty. She has blue eyes, though. And she's a little bit lighter, but she is gray. There you go, kitty. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat this up. Ooh, that's good stuff. I can see why you you hold it so precious and you were fighting for it because, whoo, that is delicious. Mmm. All right, I had to let Lucy out. She was she was getting kind of annoying. I think I've talked about it in other videos, but what she does is you know the little door stopper that's at the back of the door so that it, you know if you hit if the door opens up too fast, it bounces off the wall so it doesn't damage the wall. You know the little thing? She flicks it. She flicks it with her paw. She'll go blah, 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 and it, it makes like a really loud spring type noise and uh, she will do that over and over and over again until she gets my attention and I let her out. So she started doing that. So I let her out and uh, she's gone now. I'm sorry. She's never coming back. No, I'm just kidding. She's out in the living room. All right. Now we have the silver key. So we should get access to. Oh, it does it. That is so cool. I have not opened these chests up since they updated it. They used to just lay down in the chest, but now. They float so majestically. That is very, very cool. Do I want to put the cowboy hat on? Sure. I'll put the cowboy hat on. Okay, so now we have this bad boy, which will allow us to get access to some items that are otherwise kind of hard to get to. I've never gotten the foam finger over here, so let's see if we can get this foam finger down. Come on. Shoot it this way. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Who's number one? This guy. This guy's number one. We're number one. It's stuck to my hand. I'm, I'm, my hand, my baby hand is stuck in this foam finger. Get me out of this thing. This is some kind of Chinese finger trap. Well, okay, we got the foam finger. Get, get away from me, foam finger. It's like made of glue or something. I don't know. Have we done this? There, drop that. Have we shot this thing? Can we? Oh my. Uh, is it gonna? Oh, that was impressive. Our brother has explosives in his room. That seems very dangerous. All right, let's get these toys down. I want the helicopter and the plane, please. Please, come on. Come on. How are we gonna, th see the thing is, is we're just making it worse. We're just, we're just pushing them further back here. Maybe if I stand up. Oh, oh, maybe if I shoot it off to the side, sort of. Like, bounce it off the back? No! I want the helicopter! Give me the helicopter! Oh, please. Please fall. Fall! Come on! Helicopter! There it is! All right, and I want the plane. Give me the plane, please. Excuse me. Plane, I'm talking to you. Look at me when I'm talking to you, please. This is very rude. I can't get the plane! Maybe I can use the football to knock the plane over? Let's see. No, now they're just both stuck. Perfect. That's exactly, that was all part of my master plan, you stupid football. Okay, I've somehow managed to get this plane so stuck in the corner, it won't even budge. Oh, we got a little bit of action there. Come on. Come on! You know what? I didn't want the plane anyways. I'm very upset with you, plane. I was gonna play with you and you were gonna be the happiest toy in the world, but now I'm just gonna play with your brother, Mr. Helicopter. Sweet. We got a helicopter. We're awesome now. Here you go, Reptar. Here. Put a helicopter on top of your head. There you go. It, <laughs> look at the way that his eyes are. It looks like he's actually looking up at the helicopter. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love this game. It's just so much fun playing around. Let's get some of our brother's trophies. Let's see if we can knock these. Oh my gosh. Whew. I would not want to get hit with this thing. Holy cow. Did you see the trajectory on that trophy? Whoa. What's going on with, uh, with, with, uh, 
evil Knievel over there. Are you okay? What the heck? He's doing a nose wheelie. What's that called? I think it's called an endo. Is that right? Please, can I drop the gun? I can't put the gun down. Okay, I put the gun down. What in the world are you doing, Mr. Knievel? I, you are a very talented individual. I'm impressed. Here, you know what? I'm so impressed. Have a trophy. There you go. There you go, buddy. Oh, I knocked into him. I'm sorry about that. There's our brother's trophy. I wonder what he won it for. I can't quite read yet. And also, there's no letters. So it's kind of hard to tell what exactly he earned this trophy for doing. Maybe it was evil Knieveling. That's a real sport, right? You know, the evil Knievel club. Go to after school and you jump over buses on your motorcycle. That's a thing, right? I'm sure they offer those kinds of courses in high schools nowadays. It's been a long time since I've been to high school, so I don't know. I just don't know. I was trying to get the kite down, but uh, I don't think that's an option. All right, let's go knock down some more stuff, cause some more chaos, and then we'll get to the main course. Wait a second, is that a lamp over there? Is it? Okay, that's just a lamp. I thought maybe that was something else on top of the bookshelf. Actually, I, I haven't even thought about this. Do you think that there's a way for us to knock some of these books in the upper shelves off? And maybe there could be something like hiding behind them? I don't know. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to knock these down. They're very, very finicky and they're packed in there pretty tight. So like, it's very hard to knock them off of the shelf like this. It's, it's the same situation as the airplane. We just can't hit it at the right angle. It's just not gonna work. All right, well, that's a little disappointing. Can we shoot the coffee maker? Oh, oh, we can almost, what the heck? Oh, I'm hitting the trash can. Can we knock this plant down? No, I can't knock the plant down. We might be able to, uh, we can get the kettle. We can kind of move this stuff, but again, it's the same kind of issue where we're shooting towards them and it's very hard to get them to fall off of the shelf without hitting them at the perfect angle. I've almost got the coffee cup. Please, phone, quiet. The phone is so annoying. I can't get it. The coffee maker is invincible, so we're not gonna be able to get that. All right, is there anything else that we can knock down? Can we knock down the clock? No, we can knock down our baby food, but we can just walk up there anyways. What about this stuff up here? Is there anything on top of those shelves that's worth getting? There's towels. I don't think we can get those. Yeah, those are unmovable. What about these, these boxes? Nope, boxes are not even budging. I'm willing to bet that those boxes are full of gold bricks. That's where mom and dad keep all their hard earned gold. They're actually bank robbers. At least that's the story that I tell myself. That's why they're not here. They're going out, they're robbing Fort Knox right now, getting all the world's gold. Yeah, it's pretty cool, you know. Just another day having parents who are like super secret spies. It's, you know, it's just, that's the life you live as a baby in this world today. What the heck am I talking about? All right, so we got this cool old bazooka. We did want to try breaking the TV with this thing, but I don't think the TV is going to break. One of the suggestions, in addition to trying this thing, was to try the baseball, the signed baseball that uh, I assume would be Dad's. So let's go ahead and, hey, come here. Don't you escape me. Oh, no. This baseball is mine. All right, let's put the bazooka down. I, I don't want to deal with it right now. Okay, so we're going to try to throw it. Ugh. <laughs> it just bounced off. Huh. Nope, that does not work. Hey, this is kind of fun though. Ooh, nice, we're playing like handball with a baseball against our TV. I'm sure mom and dad wouldn't mind this, right? This is a very safe activity to be doing in your living room. Come here, baseball, where are you going? Don't escape me. Okay, there's one more thing that you guys wanted me to try with the baseball, and that is to hit it with the bat. So let's go into our brother's room, let's grab the bat and try to knock it into the TV with the baseball. But I'm starting to think that th that TV is made of some kind of alien material that is indestructible. Hey, I found another baseball cap. What is that? Lions? I don't know. I'm not familiar with sports teams. I don't know if that's a real sports team, but there you go, soccer ball. You can wear the hat. It looks good on you. All right, so we got the baseball bat. Let's try to just <laughs> knock down the castle. That's so much fun. Wait, baseball, 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 where have you gone? Why have you abandoned me? Oh, there's the baseball. I found it. Don't panic. It's okay. 
Everything's gonna be just fine. I was worried about you, baseball. Okay, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. So I'm gonna throw it up and then I'm gonna try to hit it with the baseball bat. Hopefully there's nothing around me right now in the real world. I'm just checking my surroundings, looking out for the little chaperone. That's what they call it. It's like this blue grid. You guys can't see it, but I can when I get too close to it. it we're, we're safe. We're safe right now. All right, let's do this. Huh. Uh. Ooh, that was pretty good. It was just kind of not towards the TV. Let's try again. Here, let's, let's back up a little bit. Yeah, a little more room. Also, I totally forgot that I'm wearing... <laughs> I'm wearing the cowboy hat. I completely forgot about that. I just got so used to it. All right, here we go. One more try. Uh, uh. Oh, that was okay. No, no, we can we can do better than that. Huh, uh. Nope, that's not gonna work. Come on. Uh, uh. Whoa. Okay. Well, we managed to get the baseball stuck underneath the entertainment center here. I don't think that this is gonna work though. I really just think that that. TV is indestructible. Good on you, TV. Mom and Dad opted for the baby-proof TV because they knew I'd be throwing baseballs at it, so they, they spent a little more on that one so that it wouldn't break. Good on you, Mom and Dad. Also, less good on you for just leaving me in your house all alone. We'll ignore that fact for now, but now, kind of the meat and potatoes of this video that I'm really, really excited to try. So Baby learned a new trick. Baby is apparently like a superhero, essentially. Like I have superpowers and that superpower is the ability to phase through walls. I kid you not, this baby can phase through any wall in this world. It is pretty stinking impressive. So I'll show you guys an example of how I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna use this same technique to try and get outside. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna, hmm, what should we do here? Which wall should we phase through just so that I can show you guys how this works and also try and figure out how to do it myself. Okay, we're gonna try it right here. This is gonna be our test wall. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try this out. Okay, so here's the idea. We're basically using the world around us in real life. You can see I'm actually inside of the couch right now and I'm completely backed up against my back wall. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna use the technique to back up. There's a button on the controller that allows us to back up and I'm gonna back up directly against the wall that we're gonna test this out on. So now if I turn around, the, my back wall should be right behind me. I have to be really careful about this because I know that the paintings are behind me. And then I should be able to physically walk through this wall by just stepping forward. So let's see if this works and hopefully we'll be able to say hello to Kitty. Let's use our amazing baby powers. Here we go, through the wall, boom. There you have it. We just phased through this wall because of our amazing baby superhero powers. That's that's what happens when mom and dad leave you alone for lo for too long. You become a superhero. Hello, kitty. You don't seem surprised at all. Oh yeah, your your baby owner can just walk through walls, but there you are, just enjoying your catnip and spilt milk. Fine. You know what? Fine. Don't be impressed. Hopefully the people out there are a little more impressed than you are. Very rude. So there you have it. We did it. We proved that we can do it. Now we're gonna try to do the same exact thing to get through the front door. This is actually kind of terrifying. I, You know, because when you break the barriers of a VR game, you're outside of where the developer wants you to be. It's kind of uncomfortable. Like you don't feel like you're, you're in the game anymore. You feel like you've stepped out of the boundaries and something terrible is gonna happen. So I hope that doesn't happen. I don't think it will. I don't think we have to worry about it. So basically what I need to do is find my back wall. Back wall, hello. There you are. Oh, uh, please, please, is that you? Oh, it's you. All right, we're up against our back wall. Okay, so this time we're kind of doing the reverse of what we did last time. Oh my gosh, this is getting weird. I should be like right in front of you guys. I'm also probably pretty bright because I have my light on very, very bright. So I look like I'm glowing, right? But the door is right behind me. So I should be able to turn around very carefully and we're gonna step through the door. 
<laughs> oh man, this is scary. All right, on the count of three, one, two, three. Let's do it through the door. Oh, oh my gosh, we've made it. We've made it outside. What kind of cruel world are we inside of? <laughs> what? The world around us is just blue. It's all just blue. It's all fake. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. It's like we're being raised in some kind of weird virtual reality simulation. It's We're just a science project? Were we not supposed to discover our, our ability to fly through the walls? Oh man, okay, so can I crawl? Oh, I can actually crawl around? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, okay, there is something kind of like fighting against me though. Like, it's pushing me. It's pushing me back into the house. Oh, this is scary. This is, this is terrifying. Okay, uh, so yeah, this is what's outside of our house. I don't know if I like it. I feel like I was better off not knowing. This is making me feel very uncomfortable. I don't like this. Let's see if we can get back. Can we, can we go into like our brother's room through this? Oh no, it's not gonna let us. Well, maybe, maybe. We can walk forward. I don't know if I can walk far enough though. Let's see. I'm gonna hit the wall here any second, like the real wall. Wait, what is this? Nope, this isn't gonna work. Back up. Nope, that's a no baby zone. All right, let's let's uh, let's let's just get back to the real world, please. Please. Oh, <laughs> we made it. We made it. We got to see what's outside of this world. So uh, let's let's try this technique on the other side of the house. Let's go all the way over to the kitchen and let's see if we can get outside using the same technique on this wall. Okay, everything's set up. We're ready to phase. Let's go. <laughs> I love this. This this really adds to the believability of it, right? You know. We really have the power to go through walls. Okay, here we go. In, and we are on the other side. Everything is blue once again, and terrifying. I hate it. I actually hate it. I don't, I don't belong here. I don't like being a baby science experiment. This is not cool. I'm trying to, I can like see the other side of all the cabinets and everything. This is so weird. All these windows are like that one-way glass that they use in like a police station. There's scientists looking at us from over there, examining our superpowers, analyzing us. I don't like it. I don't like it here. I want out. It's all starting to make sense. That's why our parents aren't around. Because our parents aren't here anymore. Or maybe our parents are also stuck in some kind of crazy science experiment. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Let's go this way. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to go. Here we go, through the wall, onto the other side. Oh my, what, what? Wait, wait a second. Oh, I did not realize that our sister's room was adjacent to this room. Okay, I guess that makes sense. It's still weird, I was not really expecting it. And now we're seeing the back of our sister's desk. What in the world? This is, this is not right. Babies aren't supposed to be here. Babies aren't supposed to see this. This is insane. I can't believe it worked this well, but <laughs> obviously going outside the bounds of the house is not the intended way to play this game. But we managed to do it and it was still pretty stinking cool. So there you have it guys. This is the world around us. Just blue nothingness. That is terrifying. I don't like it here anymore. So there you have it, guys. That's gonna end this episode of Baby Hands. We definitely got into some serious mischievousness. I, uh, I don't think we were supposed to be here. Also, something that I noticed, I've been talking about how the world around us is like blue nothingness. I just realized you guys aren't seeing blue. You're seeing black. I am seeing blue. Everything around here is like, kind of like a sky blue color, but what you guys are actually seeing is all black. It's all darkness, which is 
probably even more terrifying. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And also, if you guys have suggestions for other things we can try here in Baby Hands, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But that's gonna do it. If you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.